one on one. He did. Still waiting. He's certainly not forcing things early on. He rebounds and only three second chance points. A, a good margin for those of you who may not be aware. In the last decade that has come through Moraga, I mean, how many great shooters has Randy Bennett? He just doesn't have one this year, period. Eli Scott with the left hand. Nice. Exactly what Randy Bennett wants to do. Make the game uh, ugly, for lack of better words, and, and just grind. It's over. Scott, catch, score with a foul. Down to the end of this one. You got to give him credit for that. Scott, catch, and scores. Standings, you got Gonzaga, BYU. Who's third? LMU. Offensive rebound. That's what they... For the Gonzaga Bulldog program. Aaron Cook also getting a start, a senior grad transfer from Southern Illinois. Scott down low. He'll... Yeah. He's such a good He's player. He's in constant Scott. motion. Scott. Uh, funny, the dentist, like, it just wears on you over time. I guess my mom was a dental assistant, too, so I have to be nice to all the dentists that are out there. But I'm trying to think of an analogy that I could use for that. Like, working a long day in construction. But do you know how to? Do you know where to? Do you know when to? That's what makes Joel Ayayi so spectacular. Anderson goes by. Tipped by Scott. Goes to and have success? No, you're moving the needle in 11 months during a pandemic. Stan Johnson's done some really good things. comes from a very different background for most coaches. Like, the more people that you're around that have success, the more you're able to take and go, okay, I really like this aspect of their program. They're going to set a new all-time program record, 51 consecutive home wins. The last home loss championship has been done by that, Dave. It was Duke. Back in 91 and 92, it has been that long since we've had a team go start. they looking to make the extra pass. Back out to Eli Scott. No good. Lid on the basket. And you see right here, you see that Pep was looking to get out in transition. They get the steal and a, and a, and a great basket. And tough guard for, for anyone. And, and, you know, those numbers are, are indicative of what he brings to the table. LNU. It's common. It's, it's obviously this is a program that really... It really loves analytics, and they've really invested. Um, so I wouldn't say it's, it's ever. Off. It feels like some of that fuel growing a little lighter with BYU. Savvy attempt there by Scott, unable to get the foul. And can feel his frustration. He's one of seven shooting today. Baseline, Jay, right. Layup or dunk more just because of how highly effective it is. Listen, you win in college basketball, you really track that. If you can get a paint touch, your percentages for us as a, a, over my years, it's like 25 or 30 percent increase. To put that in perspective, you know, the program had lost over 20 games last year. The program hadn't won. Welcome out of back. Out of an LMU called timeout. BYU smothering the Lions. Right, Pepe going into Coonan. Spin move. He's got to get it out of that lane. Here's Eli Scott. Strains the triple. Happened when he gets it. Well, he had a career high six steals in the loss to the Lions last month down in Los Angeles. It's been a very good start for actually for San Francisco, but LMU is right there. I mean, this is an explosive team. This guy here, he can make things happen. Going around everybody yes, to the left hand. Has to use his body differently this year because of that added strength. Speaking of strength, Eli Scott changing hand. You came off the bench, play, he played 20 minutes, had, I believe, seven points, and, and was uh, he contributed. Boy, Scott, Scott. Going to the offhand, still getting it to go. First half, 17 first half points, couldn't get that one. Scott doubles, smartly gets his way out of it, kept his dribble, spins, loses the ball, but somehow puts it up and in. People out of their comfort zone. See if he get a zone, and that's not the answer. Four for this program behind Jalil Tripp, now a pro. Member of the uh, NBA G League, last year defensive player of the year in the conference. Scott off the spin. How many times have you seen him do that? Pick and roll and turn it back and find the man in the corner, but 
Saw the LNU coaches talking about it during that timeout. They made the nice adjustment. Here's Scott for three. Yes, Eli Scott. Now they've gone back and man off the end line out of bounds. Watch Scott try to back him down, back him down, get contact. Yep, left hand. A new column since the break. Can they end the drought with Scott knifing through? Nice Eli job. Scott has 17. There's got through the miss now. Scott, not this time. And he'll be at the free throw line when we continue. Well, you a little bit of a drought in the second half. Really not gotten good shots. Eli Scott into trick. Bell draws the defensive assignment. Got to move his floor. feet. Got to move his feet because Scott's going to get India and use that left hand right there. Oh, and he got the call. Here, each possession starts to become a little more important. Anderson and Scott. Four. That's silly. Create contact inside. 18 postseason appearances for Sendek. Three conference coach of the year awards. Not much slips past his radar. Eli Scott. To his <laughs> well, they moved to Canada. So they were teaching him basketball, European style, when he was a kid. Fluent in Croatian with dual Canadian citizenship. Good first rip here. 17 combined points. Between a couple of teams looking for better results on the offensive end. Jalen Anderson to Eli Scott. Yes. Contact. Appears that way. Yes. Certainly get some mileage out of their recruiting trip. Yeah. A nice cross screen inside. Scott comes up. Same number in Thursday's loss to USF. Nice take. Just got in the paint at 6'6 and shot right over the top. Yeah, see that. With Marcus and the weak side block, he's got to get out of there and you just go high low over the top. Let's see, Scott likes this inside. Clear out. He loves to get into people with angles, just like that. The running offense and getting the things that they're used to getting. Bad matchup right here. This is where LMU likes to play through, right? Yeah. And maybe he's shorthanded in the backcourt, but if they can get to this spot, they can be efficient. Well, see, Pew finally got, got slowly but surely edging themselves away, and it's because they've been way more aggressive. Let's see if Scott can bring LMU back. Lillard, because he too wasn't highly recruited out of high school. Naturally left handed guard. Absorbing big minutes tonight with the Lions shorthanded. Scott. Scott collects his own. Back up and in. And as they look to tie up Santa Clara. Could have a pick and pop up top. Now they're going to go to Scott. Let him go operate. He attacks Vranek, who lets him lay. Makes neither, but Eli Scott, strong rebound. A third opportunity for the Lions. Here, you know, he went to Cincinnati, and after the coaching change, after Mick Cronin left and came over here to UCLA, St. Mary's had recruited him out of high school at Mountain View. Uh, which is very close to their campus. So he has a he has a high major first step. Eli Scott strong. Eventually became an assistant coach. But a, a really fascinating personal story and one in which is full of stories of self-discipline, which I think his family really preached. That is a sweeping generalization. It is. I mean, I'm just thinking they're quick pass back to. Now you go for the kill shot. And the kill shot is not on offense. It's right here on defense. And I am talking to Stan Johnson. He talked about playing in the second half with the lead. Mm -hmm. Playing the second half coming from behind. Can't have that same freewheeling mentality. Eli Scott, long ball first. Looking to break that spell today. Eli Scott, tough work, turning around, grabbing for it yet again. So you get it. Right? Yeah. And, and Markinson is, he's big, and if you don't make a move, it's a good existence. Damian Douglas playing with four fouls right now. Eli Scott. No. Oh, oh wow. it won't be. Eli Scott coming back again, fighting for it. I'm looking at that. That's the bucket. second. Let's get one bucket. 
and then there'll probably be a foul. And hang on to the ball. And how about that? You end up setting your Johnson with 11 points. Eli Scott all the way in. Here the ball. And come down, try to close this gap a little bit. They have not been shooting threes well. Eli Scott in. And just a both. He's only tried to have four on the season. Yeah. Scott. That's another offense foul. Lowers that shoulder. Wow. Scott, a well built <laughs> big right there. Hey! Point forward. And he too will have a check through. Got him off balance on defense. Ivana Lipiev into the lineup for LMU. 35 with the ball here. From Bulgaria. Find Scott, muscles his way to his left hand. Olipiev leads the break. Gets it back from Douglas. And Scott on the offensive glass. Avoided the contact. I thought he might try to dunk to go one of those adrenaline rushes you're always talking about, but he took it and made the smart play. So another zone look here defensively. Yep, San Diego back in the zone to try to slow it down. Scott wasting no time. Just took it left poise and just rely on its offense to get the shots they want. In the zone. Deflections piling up in the half court. Here's Scott. Just got that lefty layup. Looking for another. Eli. San Diego back in the zone. Little pester press. Terreros have the last six points. Scott goes to work. And it falls. Eli. Tend if nothing. And they take the lead. 336 on the road. And you got a one-point lead. You got to feel pretty good if you're San Diego. Stan Johnson. Now they're back in the zone. On a... Scott starting to take over, takes the contact. Two-point advantage in the ball at the three-minute mark for Joe Quintana and the Lions. So on a missed shot, San Diego back, man. I'm sure that uh, LMU's figured that out by now, that it's made missed. Scott, up and over. Getting inside a little too hard off the window was Justin Moore. All but the finish. I think Stan Johnson kept that ball in play in that last position, Barry, and they'll be meant to. That's Scott all over the basket. And, and he's a class act, and currently with the Utah Jazz, I mean, you couldn't, you couldn't ask uh, for a more professional guy. And, uh, he's really works with his players well. That was just a little clear out for Scott, and he gets the roll. Coming up empty, you know, just not a characteristic. Certainly of David Stoudemire's team. Stan Johnson working hard to cut his turnovers down. Scott worked on by Bell. Scott trying to back him down. Shot over him and just made it look easy. The basket now, the offensive basket that's now given Pacific to lead. He's been instrumental so far in the last couple of possessions. Scott again. Scott worked on by Shad. Scott got down low, ducked under him, and drew the foul. And the officials are saying they're just not set, that, that both feet aren't planted. And, you know, they've been very consistent on calling that. It has been no gray area. If you're not set, you're going to get called on a moving screen. Also, Ben, after a game in which they had only four turnovers, Scott knocks down a three. Fire, uh, you you know, he's hopping and up and down. He's, he's coming off his best game of his career, probably. That's the guy, your go-to guy, and starts you off at half. Now they got to play defense. Now he's got to guard Scott. Scott down low, very easy, just Crockwell, couldn't get the roll, rebound down to Douglas, the Lions will push a little bit here, Scott, Bell overplayed him, Scott took it to the tip. This is Anderson down low. Scott again. Scott worked on by Bell. One on one right now. Turns to the inside. Double clutch. Draws the foul. This is just spacing on the floor and knowing that you don't want one guy to be able to guard two. Space yourself. Get great distance on the floor. Well, the PF tried to drop that down for Scott. They recover it. Now Douglas in the corner. Scott down low. Scott, yes, and one. It's point lead. And no, it wasn't short. No, sir. Now we'll see if. Pacific can get a stop. They're going to need one. 18 for Jenkins now. Here's Scott's spin move. Bell got him. Damian Douglas now in the left post to Eli Scott. 
One and one against Yerkatan. Backing him down. Muscles him under the rim. Misses. Tips up his own miss. And puts it in on the right. Eyes on that spot. Obviously, the defense going to be a little more cautious after fouling Markison on the last possession. It's Reevney's long three ball. Ricochets off the iron. Eli Scott comes away with the rebound and now controls in the front court. Dancing near the free throw line. Down the lane. Runner off the glass is good. And it, bad spacing with Alipiev there. And now the Dons off the turnover. We'll give it right back as Bouye couldn't handle the Shabazz pass. And the lines look to run. Anderson bounces to Scott at the rim. Left hand layup is good. A good close out from Anderson. And Shabazz tried to draw the foul with a little swipe through. Three pointer on the way. Too strong. And Markison clears the rebound and the Lions continue their strong defense and look to add on the offensive end Eli Scott straight away three ball all alone Travian first fouls in his pocket the Lions will work with 17 on the shot clock Joe Quintana to inbound it's been into Eli Scott on the right block immediately matched up with the aforementioned Coonan goes right at him left hand baby hook across the lane is good 4 to 11 with 9 11 to go here in this first half as you were speaking to there Jesse 24-11 your score the Lions coming out with a good amount of pace and poise so far and coach Johnson in the offseason before the season started his team had adopted a, a motto of win the weight Eli Scott creamy and there that the defense from the Dons didn't draw a foul the play continues nevertheless Anderson looking to inbound nearly five second violation but find Scott out near midcourt Todd Golden also wanted a travel as play continues as Scott bouncing to Leia Pepe, gets back to Scott as his defender hit the deck, and Scott finishes with the left. The Don go to Milstead, quick fire three, off the mark. Eli Scott collects the rebound, which is his tenth. He'll get fetchy. Nice gear given out to the fans there. Lines with a seven-point lead out of the timeout. Jalen Anderson, Damian Douglas, Ivana Lipi have Eli Scott, and Matthias, Matthias Markison as Eli Scott aggressive. Rogers, Colby Rogers on the fall away, leaves it long, and Markison collects another rebound as the Lions look to build on their 11-point lead. Eli Scott off the pass from Anderson into the right post, spinning away and muscling it in as the tied for the leader in scoring for Cal Poly. That's his first field goal of the night. I should say Cal Poly is missing their other top scorer, Riley Till, for the concussion as Eli Scott again right to his spot in the left. Anderson to Scott at the rim. Crow at his back. Fire. Hollinsworth. Bad pass stolen by Douglas, and the Lions look to push as Quintana to Eli Scott. Euro step to the rim, counted and one. Inbound. Yeah, despite the missed free throw there from Eli Scott, LMU now has another opportunity to work it offensively. Joe Quintana guarded tightly by Keith Smith, so he goes to Damian Douglas, finds Eli Scott on the left wing, crossing over, getting to the rim, and drawing another foul. Back, but. And Lemieux certainly trying to match their intensity from the first. And the second time tonight, near 50% free throw shooter on the year, and he goes 50% on that trip at the line. 69-47, Lions in front, four minutes to play. As Eli Scott down the lane, all the way to the rim, left hand layup. Keen as a team, oh, of their last four, as a left wing three from Artest is an air ball, and luckily for the Lions, Irvine also really struggling there, one of their last 11. And the score again, 8-6. to six. Yeah, well, they know Artest isn't too much of a three-point shooter, so they're going to let him go, but that's the second time we've seen them leave him alone from 15 feet or more. Yeah, trying to create opportunities, but either the defense of their opponent or their own accuracy getting in the way. All tied at 10. Colin Welp, quick move, has the shot erased off the backboard by Markerson. And the Lions look to push off the nice defensive play. Eli Scott, top of the key, working around a Markerson screen. 15-footer, left elbow, nothing. So neither team has really been able to get it going in this first half. Yeah, the shooting numbers are, are definitely not what either team would have hoped for. One three ball made in this whole game. Eli Scott forcing the air to make the basket inside. They're just going to have to turn it into more scoring, especially from downtown. Jalen Anderson into Eli Scott and bounces back up top for Anderson, who's covered by Isaiah Lee. Gets a screen from Lea Pepe. Hesitation dribble. Kicks back to Lea Pepe. He'll drive into the body. Cut off by Green. Lying the swing at right corner for Eli Scott with five on the shot clock. Up and under across the lane. Left hand floater is good. Seven footer, 300 pounds. This is a matchup where the Lions could use Markison's production. Oh, absolutely. I think Markison on Shamunga is going to be a really, really exciting one if he can stay in this game, Jesse. We've seen little glimmers of it already. As Eli Scott in a, with an 8.6 second differential in shot clock, Irvine will play for a stop and does not have to foul. Lions need to take care of the basketball as they get it across the timeline and now. Not much of that comfortable lead is left. A two-point advantage, 50-48, 25 seconds to play as the Lions 
hold the basketball. About seven second difference between game shot and shot clock. Naomi's going to want one final say here. As Markison sets the high screen for Quintana. Seven on the shot clock. Quintana right wing for Eli Scott. Drives down the lane, attacks the rim, misses the dunk, but a foul. popular now good good shot fake there shot was missed by Quintana and the rebound run down by Alipia Scott cut off they get it inside knocked back by Miles Norris Scott with a good head fake and a left hand layup and Joe Pasternak is in the ear of one of the officials about something 10 to 4 Gauchos with their biggest lead good uh, Scott is looking to go uh, against Miles. Miles has a size advantage, but of course, the big advantage is you know, 200. Now, McLaughlin was tripped, no call. Lea Pepe comes up with it. Here's Anderson the other way. Anderson leans in, gives it to Scott, who lays it up and in. Good trade. Need that. Just work for good open shots. I think that's what you do in practice, that's what you have to do in games. Anderson with a dangerous Travel. pass to Scott. Scott with that big body gets in and scores with a at it again as Amadou was beat on the play, but mm -hmm. Josh Pierre Louis with that great athleticism came over and helped out. Yep, very nice. Eight on the shot clock. Scott trying to back down Norris. Yep. And that left hand shot. Anderson the rebound. McLaughlin had a free lane to the basket after making a great move and he passed out. He does that sometimes, and uh, I prefer he looks to score that one, but hey. He was looking for his teammate. Not a bad thing. <laughs> no. There's Douglas with it. Back to Scott. Scott going against Amadou So and a uh, reach in foul. And I think that's on Sonny. Nova has three fouls. He's on the bench. Here's Scott backing down Barnes. Scott puts it up and couldn't get it. Gets his own rebound, puts it back, and does not get that one. Here's Scott now. Norris on him. Head fake, nobody goes for it. Puts it up, almost got it, and gets it the second time. Tipped it in. Five points off the uh, lead of the Gauchos. Jackson back in the game for LMU. Here's Scott backing down Barnes to the baseline. Put it up, no good. That's it has bothered the Gauchos a little bit. Scott has 22 points in the game, and he's got the basketball. Going in hard, gets Norris up in the air, and Miles did a good job. Situations they have. Uh, uh, Amadou did not get the ball very much today until the second half, but uh, hopefully he'll learn from this situation. There they go to drive again. No basket. Foul was before. Seven, three guys. Yes. He can so much quicker. So here's Scott, probably his last touch of the night, and he's going to... Anderson with the shot clock at three, he had to let it fly, and Scott still coming up empty-handed, but pursuing the basketball. They already have more offensive rebounds in this half than the entire game. Pull up from the wing that time for Curry. Here's Eli Scott. Player who averages about 12 and a half points per game stands at 6'6. He's a senior. I mentioned he's one of the only preseason better one in that possession. Loyola Marymount in a little bit of a field goal drought in seven minutes and counting. Here, Scott with the lefty fit under 14 to play, 44 to 38. Again, this is the second meeting in three days between these two teams. Kind of a scheduling quirk and around and around it falls is but it's something that LMU I feel like Stephen I don't know if you agree they've, they've done a good job of getting numbers back yes and have the Victoria's Secret was left on the deck that time my goodness Marcus Carr pulling out all the stops here when Minnesota needs it most hasn't missed a shot in the second half there's Scott Here 
Chris Scott against Johnson. Has to get positioning inside, and Johnson trying to go inside to Robbins. Marcus and knocked it away. There's Scott on the drive around Curry for the bucket. What timing there with Jamal Mashburn Jr. showing his confidence, and I don't know if Richard Patino saw his dad during the holidays, but if he wants to know what he's going to look like in 30 years, I mean, they look, they, they look like identical. It, it, it's scary how much they look alike. Good ball movement. And it opened Williams for three. No. Verso flying in to try to get the rebound, but couldn't get it. But Jordan, that's a shot that Gabe Kalsher would have took in game one, and I think that will pay off later on. He, he had a good look, really come into his own after the first game. It looked like he was pressing a little bit. And as you mentioned, Liam Robbins um, adjusting so far to his role at Minnesota. Now underneath Scott. They were letting him have that three. Now Scott, yes. <laughs> You're ready to fire up some jumpers. Off the steal now. Come on. Scott.